Hi everyone, how are we all doing? Rodian Builds here and today, as promised, we're going to start up a new little series. Now, what is it called? I'm going to call it, i tell you what, I made something especially for this and I've always wanted to say this, so roll that intro. Man, I was so excited making that little intro the other day. Oh, it was so good. I had to watch it like seven or eight times back to back. Anyway, let me know what you think of the intro. Uh, so I had the idea of this little series uh, over the Christmas holidays, a few things rattling around in my brain. So basically the idea of this series is inside two minutes, I'm just gonna try and do sort of mini tutorials, maybe a few product reviews of some tools, some clothing, and some other things that I might just think up and just want to put inside two minutes. Maybe I just want to talk to you about something for two minutes. So that's that's pretty much the premise of what this little mini series is. Hopefully, as you can see, two minute Tuesday. Hopefully, I upload upload them every Tuesday. I'm not going to hold the fact that I'm going to do one every Tuesday, but they will always be on a Tuesday. And the Brick Lane for beginners, or now just Brick Lane series, will be on a Friday. So hopefully, those are the two two time scales we're going to be looking at. So yeah. After you watch this video, down in the comments, let me know what sort of quick tips and tricks do you want me to go through and explain to you. So yeah, just pop them down there. It could be anything. If you want to want me to look at a particular tool or a particular piece of clothing or a hat or, or anything, let me know and I will see if I can make it happen. Okay, so on to today's quick tips. So we're going to put two minutes on the clock down here and let's get going. So we'll talk about wet lines and pins. When you're on a job and you're working and you're grafting away, you're getting your lines up, you're running them around, you're doing all you've got to do, and then all of a sudden, either the rain comes down or you forget that you left the pins on the wall. When you go home the next day, you come back, it's been dumping it down all day, and your pins are still on the wall, and they are soaked to the bone. So, what do you do? Now, the best thing you do, once they're wet, right, I've got a bucket full of rainy day here, so, I'll tell you, I'll leave that a minute. It's been quite a rainy day, so... Oh my God, that's cold water. Oh my God, that is icy cold water. Christ almighty. So, that is officially covered in rainy day. So what you do, you don't wrap them up like so. I'll tell you what, it is a rainy day and all. So once you've unraveled the whole lot, these are soaking wet. Now, just to make sure that they are properly been rainy dayed, we'll stick them in the bucket again, eh? <sighs> Now they are officially the wettest lines I've ever seen. They're not gonna be this wet, but what you do, you don't wrap them up like so and put them straight back in your bag because you will get what is called bag rot and your lines will waste away. You don't wanna keep spending out money on lines. Oh God, I've messed that right up, haven't I? So what you do is you wrap them up in this way. You go from the top to the bottom, hold your fingers in place and do five or six like that. Then twist around 90 degrees five or six like so and you keep doing that all the way around now the reason you do this is because this allows more airflow through your lines a lot of people wrap their lines up like this anyway it is quite a good uh, habit to get into it does take a little bit longer to wrap them up but you get less chance of that bag rot and once you get to the end, just one quick hitch. And there you go. That is the best way to wrap them up. Now you notice compared to my other pins, they're wrapped up more. The size difference between this one and this one is quite big. That is because you've got all that, all those little air pockets all the way through it. And that's just gonna let that air get into there a lot quicker and, and dry those out a lot better. And also, like I said, the scent of it's not gonna be as wet and you're not gonna get anywhere near as much of a chance of getting bag rot. So what you do is you put those in your bag and then when you go home, go home that day, or if you haven't got a radiator on the job, just roll them out on a radiator and then dry them out that way. But for the time being, you can do it like that because nine times out of 10, I'll put them in the bag and I've completely forgotten they're in there, not, gone, not taken them home and put them on the radiator and they've been fine. I have had bag rot in other ones before, hence why I started doing this. So there you go. Quick tip for Tuesday, don't get bag rot on your lines. Now, I don't know whether I stuck to the two minutes or not, but we will see. So if you did enjoy this video, please do leave a like down below. Subscribe if you aren't already. Ring that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you guys next episode. So take care. See you later. Oh, I'm falling over. Right, see you later.